Diablo 4 has got a big problem. With the introduction of the expansion, we've seen a number of game-breaking bugs, exploits, dupes, hacked items, all sorts of things that are really ruining a lot of players' experience with the game. And the big problem Blizzard has is with the mid-season patch coming up, which problems are they going to address, which should be their primary focus, and how can we get the game in a good state going forward for Season 7 where we don't have to deal with these issues anymore. To name a few of the problems, you've got Spiritborns running around doing you know, hundreds of quadrillions of damage. You've got hacked gear. You've got experience exploits, people shooting up to 300 Paragon in 20 minutes. You've got gold scams. And the worst of all, something that has been prevalent in every season is duping. And it's never been more prevalent or more obvious than it has been this season that this is occurring. We'll start off with the Spiritborn. Yes, the Spiritborn is performing way ahead of what it was ever expected or whatever intended to do. Now, this was an oversight, I believe, from Blizzard. Uh, they didn't want it to do this much damage, but as we've seen with every other season, they introduce something and it turns out that, you know, they didn't calculate it right and it ends up getting blown out of proportion. This is why we've had PTRs, and I think since the PTRs, we've seen a lot fewer of these slip through the cracks. Problem is, for the expansion, there was no PTR. And of course, things fell through the cracks, such as what you're seeing now with the Spiritborn. Now, is it fair to nerf it mid-season? I think it's not fair, and it should not be a focus for the mid-season update, because you have all of these people now that have been watching the Spiritborn do these hundreds of quadrillions of damage, like in my my videos, or if you've seen Darth Microtransaction on the, the Diablo 4 situation is crazy. Uh, he shows a couple of screenshots or I mean, clips of my builds that have been doing these crazy amounts of damage. You know, whether you like it or not, some people want to make that build and feel that strength. And and yeah, it's maybe it's not for everyone, but there are a lot of people have, who have been pouring in hours and hours to get the gear to emulate the Spiritborn builds that they're seeing. And by the time the mid-season patch comes around, a lot of players are just going to be getting their builds you know to a good state where they want it takes so long to find the right gear to find greater affixes and then temper the right affixes on and then masterwork the right affixes and it and it it takes hours and hours and we've had the issues with finding materials and raw hides that starting from scratch after a massive massive nerf to your build is just going to feel bad for the majority of players and i think that while the spiritborn definitely should be fixed it should be held off until season seven. Let people have their fun on the Spiritborn this season and maybe give the other class some buffs or something fun to play with, you know, in the mid-season patch so that you kind of make everyone happy. Now, before I start talking about the next real issue, the hacked gear that people are able to make, um, we've got a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Wartoon Ultra, a series 12 years in the making with humble roots as an original browser game. Wartoon Ultra was developed by the same team that made the original Wartoon from 12 years ago. The new mobile game supports cross-platform play on iOS, Android, and the web. You won't want to miss out on it or the insane giveaway that they're running. More details on that are going to come towards the end. Wartoon is a turn-based RPG that combines elements of Final Fantasy and Diablo. Play as your hero to collect mounts, customize your skill tree, runes, talents, all while leveling up your hero to take down whatever enemies may stand in your way. Here we're going to level up our slash attack combined with combat mastery and see how it does. Oh, and you're not going to want to forget to pick up all that epic loot that drops. And for the ultimate challenge, team up with your guild to take on other guilds in a PvP showdown. We all know that PvP is the ultimate endgame after all. An amazing journey awaits you in Wartoon Ultra, so make sure you use the link in the description or scan the QR code to get started on your adventure today. But wait, it gets better. Wartoon Ultra is running a giveaway that'll blow your mind. You can win a once in a lifetime trip or one of a multiple other prizes. All you need to do is share the post in the link below with three friends using the hashtag provided. Now back to the video. The hacked gear has become such an issue and it's really one of the things that hurts me the most because one of the things I've had so much fun this doing is pushing up the 
pit ladder. And at one point, I was up to number three as the, the fastest clear and the highest clear on the Spiritborn class. But then a slew of hacked gear came in from other players and through tricking the game, up to eight masterworks on an item when I'm trying to compete with only three masterworks. Here's an example of the items that they're able to make. Now, I understand there's no actual official ladder or anything like that, but sites like Max Roll have done really fun contests, um, and it kind of detracts from the fun of these community events when you're able to inject hacked gear and people have an unfair advantage and people who don't want to hack necessarily. I refuse to do it even though I know how it's done. Um, kind of feel left out and like they can't really compete. I think it's really bad for the health of the game to leave these hacked gear items in the game and to allow them to continue to be made. So I think that should be one of the top priorities for the mid-season update. Another thing that I noticed as I dropped and dropped <laughs> places on the leaderboard were that all of a sudden, all of these players were level 300, just like in a matter of, uh, you know, a few hours. It turns out there's this XP glitch. Again, I'm not going to explain how any of these exploits or glitches are done, but just watch Rob grind his way up to level 300 Paragon. It took him probably like 100 hours total of grinding experience to get to that level 300. It's, it's, it's a bit unfair for some players to be abusing the system so much. So I think the experience exploit should be solved, you know, as soon as possible. If you can get it done in the mid-season update, that would be great. But then the next two ones are really an issue with the economy of the game. And if you've gone to a trade site, you'll see you can't even open up Diablo.trade now without seeing this message pop up. Beware of scams. There's all of these scams going on now in the game where, where basically you're tricking the client into trading an item for gold and then you get the gold but the other person doesn't get the item or vice versa or the item poofs. Um, and, and really it's become a big issue for the, anyone that likes to trade in Diablo 4 and I, I know a lot of people do. In addition to that, the prevalence of these dupes has never been more obvious. Type in any three greater affix item on the trade site and you'll see. Here's an example with gloves. The same exact item posted over and over and over again by all different accounts. And you can tell it's the same item because it has the same exact affix and the same exact affix roll. It's statistically impossible for this many of the same exact item to exist, especially when you don't see any others on the trade site at all. Every season we've had to deal with a duping glitch, and it's really unfortunate because I feel like we've almost never had a true representation of what playing through progression feels like. Because what happens is these duped materials flood the market, everyone gets a hold of them, and then you just end up running an unlimited amount of durials that if you were bound by the normal restrictions of the game would have never been possible. I'd love to see a season where we don't have to worry about all of the duping and uh, and exploits. So while I know a lot of fuss has been made about the Spiritborn and how much damage the Spiritborn is doing, I, I think it would be a disservice to the future of the game if all of the focus were on just nerfing the Spiritborn or bringing it back down. You know, I, I definitely agree, season seven, bring the Spiritborn back down to reality, but there are way more pressing issues with the game that I would love to see addressed sooner rather than later. Uh, come mid-season update, I'm actually looking forward to rolling with a, a Rogue. I hope that the Rogue class gets some buffs then. So I've actually been streaming like five days a week. I was trying out, you know, full-time streaming. It's been a lot of fun, but I'm getting a little bit burnt out from the pit push ladder uh, after realizing that I'm competing against people who are exploiting and cheating. So I'm actually going to take a day or two break from Diablo 4 and stream a game called Project Diablo 2. So Project Diablo 2 is one of my favorite games. It is a fan-made mod of the Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, uh, one of my favorite games of all time. And it pictured Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, but with all of the modern day ARPG quality of life improvements and updates to the game. Um, it stays true to the nature of Diablo 2, and it is one of my favorite games to play when I'm not playing Diablo 4. So for the next day or two, I'm going to be streaming that game. If you want to come check us out, I'll be playing with uh, the, the world record uh, Diablo racing teams that, um, that I generally play with in Diablo 2. And, uh, and we'll be racing, you know, absolutely blasting the new uh, ladder. It's a, it's a new season on Friday, and, uh, and we're really looking forward to it. So if you want to come check it out, 
check out the stream. And I'm really looking forward to the mid-season patch to fix some of the issues that I talked about in this video so that Diablo 4 can be the great game that I think it can be absent all of these problems. I don't like videos where you just complain. So I hope that this video was constructive and it's sort of my letter to Blizzard, helping them prioritize, you know, really what are the areas of the game that need to be fixed and should be prioritized. Now, these are just my opinions. If you have any thoughts on it or if you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. I do send feedback to Blizzard pretty regularly and uh, and I read through all the comments of the videos as well. So if you have something you'd like to share, if you agree, disagree, leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.